Alright guys, it's Kerbex and today we're at Brunswick Mill. We're in Bordock Line and Coates Miles Platin. It was the first mill to have electricity in the UK and we're gonna go and have a wander around now. So it was built in 1840 and you can you can sort of see it with these two fire exits which the Americans copied us with with the sort of like the iron styled mechanism and stuff but yeah it's nice let's go inside and have a look so i've headed inside now so as you may have heard me say outside we're at a place called brunswick mill in east manchester and we're gonna go and explore just in one of the first rooms on the f is this the first floor yeah first yeah, floor. floor yeah and you can even see the old where well underneath that it would be bricks and then obviously they put some over the top of it but they would have been brick arches probably So, we've got to the lift and we're going to take it up once it's free to the top floor I think. Might be able to get some uh, photographs from the roof but we'll, uh, we'll go and have a look and we'll see what we find. So now I'm just going to press the button. Uh, you need to get the one, you know. Uh, just press the down one, yeah. Press the button from the 1960s. I'll show you what I'm pressing. As we open the door to the old lift. Let's go inside. And hold. Okay, so we're in. Oh, we're going up. It's moving. I don't know if you can see that there behind there. That's first floor. So that'll be some of the studios. So this is the first floor that we're going past. It's That's quite cold as well, isn't it? Bloody like, you can feel the draft, you know, from the shaft. Yeah. Some textile studios on these floors. I don't know if you can hear the actual, all the little bits of machinery and that working to pull us up. If you look behind though, you can see it's just slowly going up. So we're about to open the door to the top floor. Wow. Is the floor safe, yeah? <laughs> what what are these called? These um I forgot the name of them, these iron like oh, the, oh, the pillars. Yeah the pillars that are holding basically holding the roof up. Look at the rust on them. Uh, wow. It's a massive nice. space though, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a couple of pigeons in. And I'm guessing when, when it was a mill it would have had all spinning machines in it and stuff like that. <coughs> Just been told that, that is one of the original tiles. And in 1840s, 19th century. So in the 19th century, this is the view. And that's Wellington Mill over there. So that rooftop is the roof of Wellington Mill. So Wellington Mill is that one? Yeah, there. The, yeah, that's it. And you can just see Manchester. Is that Manchester City Centre? Manchester City's ground. City's sort of off, just off the city centre there, really. Now earlier, you might have heard me mention the bricks and the arches that have been plastered over. And if you look there, you can actually see them. Now if I try and turn the camera this way, so you can get a... Can you see the arch? That's the arch there. There's another one. It's quite, it's quite a smart way of building, really. So when this was built in 1840s, it would have been one of the biggest mills of its time. But then obviously after that, bigger mills were built. And then I'm just coming up to another one of the windows, which I'll flip this round now and show you. And, oh. Martin has just mentioned how the roof's leaking, as you can see. That's not something you really want to see on the top floor of your mill. <laughs> well, oh, coming up to another window. We're going to have a peek through. Obviously, we've had to put this type of stuff in to stop pigeons getting in here. What have you get? Such a massive vast well, space to you can just imagine just rows and rows of spinning mill machines just from the top up there all the way down here and then in victorian or not 
I don't, I don't think it is, but just have a look at the way. No. You've gone straight with the pipes, and then with the arch, you have to raise it up, and then they come back down. And again on this side over here, they've gone up and come back down again. <laughs> and they could have just gone straight, but you know, it's, that was how it was done back then. We've had a look around the top floor of this place now, and it is when it would have been working, it probably would have been quite an interesting, intriguing place. And I'm just, I just want to get your opinion really on it, Martin. Like, what do you think of it? Me? It's incredible. It's incredible. It's like all these places, but to be here in Ancos, in one of the mills, one of the first mills that were the start of the Industrial Revolution, you know, you can't get more authentic than this in, in terms of cotton mills. So, absolute privilege to be here. Amazing. So, if you look inside here, look how old that little wooden box is on the wall there. It probably would have held keys or something at one point. And if you can look there, single glazed windows and obviously the old brick arch above above the old staircase there inside this here is the old toilets now it's full of bird <laughs> but as you can see look it stinks in here as well this is i'll try and get this door open for you that's an old cubicle in here ow ow Look at the old switches on the wall there. Such an interesting place. Now, this has just been pointed out to me. I'm not too sure on the date on it, but it's definitely some sort of either old heater or an old ventilation shaft. It's just interesting to see, really. These are, again, single glazed windows. And it just goes to show the age of the building, really. And in here, look at the size of them old tellies. She just absolutely decimated in bird. And if we go into this little tiny bit of room, you can see that it is pretty, pretty derelict up here. And you can, you can literally taste the bird feces, it's not nice. Now, we've got to go through this, if you just light the board up for us. We've got to go through this, well, we've got to go under this board into the next part. And now, we're going to watch Martin squeeze through there. You can taste, you can, you can't, I'm not lying when I say you can taste the bird in the air. And now I've got to squeeze through this little gap. Oh, would you lift the board a little bit? Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. There's another dead pigeon. Wow. <coughs> we could just jump through there. <laughs> Look at that stair shaft. Look at that. Some old British engineering. And that ceiling on the uh, roof. Just pop this torch off. Something's actually. Uh... Wow. It's actually worth coming through because we're in a kind of a, a staircase now. Another dead pigeon there, or a dead rat. It looks like a pigeon though. Beautiful apps there. Love it. Absolutely. That is now, I don't know if you can hear me talking over Martin. Some craftsmanship there. But he's just currently talking about it. See the arch above the, the old stairway there? It's, it's pretty beautiful. And then it, they even carried it on over here. And that is rounded. Oh my god, there's a pigeon behind me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's so many pigeons in here, it's unbelievable. Shot, shot, shot. Uh, I'm just gonna have a little. Before you go on there, can I get a Yeah, what's it? I'm just gonna. It smells and tastes so bad in here. <laughs> oh, just walking down the stairs now. And wow. This floor is even worse. <laughs> Pigeon just got me then. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to put that in the video. Pigeons just absolutely scared me. Senseless. Look at this room. Could you imagine all the machinery in here just pumping away and whirling away? And the workforce that would have been in here as well. Just, it's unbelievable. Well, I'm just gonna show you the staircase from the bottom point of view. I'm just gonna walk back up it now to show you where we were stood. Look at the old handrail. As we go round. Staircase. And there's Martin doing a bit of bit of B-roll. 
Oh, you're doing some Ken Burns. <laughs> so the, 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 the problem with the wildlife is that bad that a pigeon has actually laid eggs and left them there. No. So we ain't going I've never seen that before really. But then if we look behind the pigeon eggs, let me just go zoom out again. Zoom out of there. That is floor seven, floor six we've done. This is the stairs from floor six down to floor five and they've bricked it up because it's that bad. So what we've missed when we came in was that, it's been boarded up now, but that there is the top half of the staircase which takes you to the roof. So we can't get on the roof that way which is a bit of a letdown. Hopefully we might find another way maybe. This is the old style of wiring where it, it was, what was it, threaded? Threaded? Yes, yeah, cotton. Cotton threading around the wire. Um, obviously they don't do that anymore because the wires get hot and it causes fires and that's probably why there was a lot of mill fires. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see that. Let's get a closer up there. Bet maybe this one. Look at that. Then we'll just... Oh, there would have been at one point maybe a logo on there. Mm. Let's just, and then this one here is totally seized. You just can't move that one whatsoever. Amazing stuff though. So we, we just tried to open that door that you see me pulling on. Connor's, he's opened it and it's just literally sheared straight off. It's oh, taken yeah. a corner off. That is, that's how old that metal is. Oh, man. We've just come across a fridge. I know it's nothing related to like urbex or anything like that, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna crack open the door, see what's in there. If it opens, oh. Oh, oh there's something in there. Yeah. White. Oh, I Go do on. not know what that is. It doesn't look nice. So that's the fridge that we just opened up. Full of pallets and all sorts of debris and crap. Another old ventilation system. But now, we're going to walk up these old wooden stairs. Now, I'm a bit scared really about going up these because they don't feel very safe. Top of these stairs. Follow you. Look at this. So they've put a padlock on there. But I really thought we'd be able to get on the roof, but it's, I don't think. That's the only problem with urbexing, guys, is if you do go in these places and there's a padlock, there's nothing you can do, you just gotta leave it, you know. It would have been nice to get on there and have some roof shots. But I'll show you the staircase going back down. Can you see that? Oh, isn't it? Look at that. That's the, that's the iron strut there. And then we'll just keep going back down. You can actually see the, I think these ones on the bottom might have been built newer. They don't feel very safe at all. Ooh. We're back onto the, let's have a little look around in here. <laughs> and look at that door. You just, I can't believe. That's probably been there for years. Like, it's, it's, it actually is amazing, this place. I love going in old buildings, and I love, love walking around them and exploring them and finding out a story behind them. And I just, it's just, it's so big. Can you hear the echo? <laughs> but, um, hopefully, we will be able to get on the roof one day, because I bet the pictures you'll be able to get from there will be amazing. So amongst all the, well, amongst all the we found a newspaper, it's from 2005, I don't even know if you can see that. I don't even know if you can see it really. Wait, you can. But I'll just show you some of the other, there's a sign over there as well. Or something, some, I'm not too sure what it is but.
So before you might have heard me mention about these um, these fire exits, and this one is actually lowered at the moment permanently. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go and take a quick little trip up one. Hopefully they don't fall for it because they are quite old. Um, as you can see, I'll show you. I'll just spin this camera around now for you and just show you this. So these are, these are all the old ones. That's the replacement. So you can see you can see what I'm uh, what I'm up against there, and I am a bit tiny, a bit scared that maybe if you go through, because obviously I don't want to hurt myself. So we're on the first tier now. I'll just show you around it quickly. Now this part here, this lower part, which is one, two, three, four stories high. This back in the day when this was a functioning mill was a Just have a look at the size of this place. Um, so this part here was, was I would go up a bit further but I don't know if it's wise to. But it is massive. Look at the old little cast iron arch there. So guys, you're with me Curvex, you've been with me for the video and now we're going to go and take a look at something called Wellington Mill. It's just around the corner and I've been told we can get on the roof. Um, so hopefully, because we weren't able to get on the roof of this mill, but other Connor is saying that we, there is a high chance of us getting on the mill, sorry getting on the other mill's roof. So I look forward to it and I'll see you up there. Alright guys, so before I did say I'd show you from the outside Brunswick Mill, so as you can see it's behind me there, that's the entrance, and if you look over there, that's where we've just been, up around that top bit, and I think we, go, we, we didn't go in that side, but we did go in the top part there, which was, it was it was very interesting. Just going to show you another angle of Brunswick Mill. If you'll just excuse the uh, the part, the day parties. Look at that! Such a big site. Again, Brunswick Mill. I keep saying Brunswick Mill, but that's what I'm showing you. And if you look down here, you just see over there through that gap. That's the Ashton Canal. But we'll go and take a closer look at that from the other side of this roof. Look at the water tower. You can't really see it. Look at it. Over there. It's just so, so big. And the, obviously the water tower was an early form of sprinkler system. If, if you don't know much about mills and stuff like that. So if I'll just show you this now. You can hear the music being played. Because obviously that, that mill there, the first two floors are rented out to, um, you know, university people, musicians, whatever, whoever wants to need a, needs a space to, to do their own thing. Um, yeah, that's that's basically what that is used for now. A couple of swans, I think they are, or ducks, or geese. I think this is the end of the video anyway. Um, but um, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one and you enjoyed this. And, well, this has been Brunswick Mill. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. This has been Kerbex and I just want to say thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe and I'm going to leave you now with a few pictures of some spinning mill workers.